in my studio today starting some murals uh, for the bus stops and I just wanted to show you guys just how modular uh, my studio is um, like I was talking about earlier so in order to do these murals I have to have a place where I can lean them up against the wall and um, I found out that I really didn't have a blank wall that was big enough that I could lean them up on so what I decided to do actually was um, I've actually set them up over here uh, to lean over against my shelves. And so it's gonna be super annoying for a few weeks because anything that's in those shelves back there, I'm not gonna be able to get to. Um, but I think that's gonna work out really well. Um, basically what I've done is I'm doing them in two panels. And so I have them kind of just stacked on top of each other um, with clamps right now so that I can paint it all as one piece. Um, and then, you know, when it's finished, I'll be able to take it back apart. So it'll be a little easier to handle in the two pieces and then I'll be able to install it on site. Um, but I just kind of wanted you guys to see how I've like completely rearranged my studio. I kind of wish that I had filmed this actually, like rearranging the whole thing, but I thought it was gonna take forever um, and it ended up not taking forever at all. But like I ended up moving this gantry crane and the tables and like basically just rearranged everything so that I can work on these murals over here. And then I still have space on my tables and I still have space over here to work on Porsche. Um, and basically I can just be working on a lot of projects at once. So that just kind of shows you a little bit of how I can kind of convert my studio depending on what I need to do and maybe give you some ideas. <laughs> Let's start some murals. So I'm doing these murals on siding. Um, it's just like regular wood siding that would go on the front of your house. It's been, um, you know, sealed against the elements and stuff, at least on the face of it where I'm gonna be painting. Um, I did go ahead and put a water sealant on the back so that water wouldn't get in there. Um, but I've done some testing on it, uh, even just without the sealant, and it seems like it's pretty moisture resistant even on its own, but I went ahead and just added that water sealant just so that it's really good to go. Um, but so what I've done so far is I put a couple coats of primer on these so that they're all ready to paint. Um, and like I said, I did put that water sealer on the back. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna start by painting like a solid base color on these. Uh, what I'm gonna be painting is two different ones. I think the first one I'm gonna do, cause they're both gonna be the same size, but I think the first one I'm gonna work on is um, gonna be the painting of Mount Garfield with a deer drinking from the river. It should be really fun. Um, so I'm gonna get started on that and I'm gonna start by painting just a light orange base color. Um, it's gonna be a very orange and blue kind of piece because the bus stops are blue. Um, so I thought that those complementary colors would kind of work well there. And it's gonna be at sunset, and so there's gonna be a lot of orange. So we're gonna start with orange. Um, and then once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and get my art projector. Um, I've drawn out the whole outline of everything that I want to paint on my iPad. And so I'm gonna project the outline um, over the base color and we'll be able to get start, start getting some details in there. <laughs> Yeah, let's get started.
how I've used the projector to go ahead and just block um, the different colors out. So we've got some light and shadow areas and now I can go ahead and uh, really develop the painting and start getting some details and stuff in there. Normally I would use the projector to do an outline uh, in Sharpie first and then I would do the whole painting off of that. Um, but that's, you know, basically what I would do if I was doing a mural on site. And since I'm doing these on panels in my studio, um, you know, I can leave the projector up and running as long as I need to um, and go ahead and, you know, I just went ahead and painted <laughs> instead of doing the outline, which is nice because then I don't have to cover that outline back up. Um, and you can see that the scene is already starting to take shape. Oh, <laughs> oh,